culinary rating, zero to ten. Hey friends, Jake and I thought we would go out on a foray as it's sort of late summer and we thought we may be able to find some classic field mushrooms. The Garicus campestris. It'd been a wettish couple of days, so we headed out to pasture land to see if we could find any to eat. Turned out we couldn't find anything, any worth eating. There's was, there was some old ones, they were, they were no good. But we did find Belitus chrysenteron, the red cracked belit. Actually pretty common. It, uh, it appears in about 28% of the British Mycological Society's mushroom forays. Uh, but it's still pretty cool we found it. We went through a positive identification process whilst we're in the field. Yellow tubes, yes. Do the yellow pores bruise blue, you know, when touched or cut, yes. Does the flesh bruise blue, yes. Cracks and damaged patches in the cap show a distinct red tinge, yes. Cap colour varies from velvety dark brown to light brown, yes. It was a collection of five mushrooms with one large old one. It was no good for eating really, so we used that specimen to confirm they were what we thought. Cut it at the bottom and sliced it down the middle so we could quite clearly sort of work out whether, you know, we could confirm that it was the mushroom that we thought uh, from that. We picked three of the five. There's no need. Uh, and nor ever is to overpick uh, by taking all the fungi from a patch. And we were curious about this one because people's perception of flavour is varied. Some really like it, some think it's rubbish. Uh, for preparation, we took off the pores as they're just mushy and discarded the rough sort of stems are no good to eat either. During this process, you could really see that brilliant blue, blue bruising, it's really cool. Sliced them, uh, savaged all the non-worm eaten pots and just put them in the pan with a little butter, salt, pepper, fried them until they, they had a good color on them. Our culinary rating for the Belitus Chrysenteron, we both put around seven and a half, which means we both think that it's worth eating and therefore picking and prepping. Very good as part of a mixed mushroom dish and we enjoyed the slightly fruity flavour that it had. I will leave the positive ID list in the description so that you can use it and help you identify the red crack belit. But please, when picking this and any other mushroom for that matter, make sure you see features that are there not what you want to see and if you're in doubt at all do not pick it and definitely do not eat it positive id is key